Hey what's up everybody this is Always back with another video on the channel Today I'm gonna be answering a question from one of the viewers on my channel He asked that is there any way to improve storage on your C drive and what to do if your C drive gets uh, very less uh, space left in it so the C drive get increased automatically even though you don't install any application to your PC but the C drive you find out that it's increasing the size uh, day by day so what to do for that well there are a few things you could do the first thing I want to show you you need to find out what are the things are actually using your C drive so for that if you go and click anywhere on your taskbar right click and go to settings and after you get to settings you click on home and then click on system and then here we have an option for storage in Windows 10 let's click on that and here you can see that I've got three drives in my PC C drive which is 1.20 terabyte and I have two another drives I don't install any software in E and F now to check that what I'm gonna do first of all let's click on that and here it's going to take you minutes to analyze the space on your PC so right now it's telling me that the system and reserve is 358 GB and that's quite a lot we have the application in my PC for about 331 GB document space pictures music and uh, we have the other storages as well temporary files so we go to the others first and we find out what are the folders are not able to categorize so these are the folders that we need to look at if there is unnecessary folder which is uh, which is a lot bigger than it is required such as I have Android and I know all of these folders I need them in my PC so these are the fine but uh, if you find any folder which you don't need it then make sure you click on that which will take you to that folder and then you can simply delete files from that folder now let's go back and next we have applications and games with application games go to your apps and games and make sure you don't have any unnecessary application which you don't use I have so many applications because I'm a kind of geek so I install a lot of applications to test them out so make sure you don't have any unnecessary apps and games now let's go back to system and reserve that's the important part here now here in system files system and reserve you will find a system restore point here right now I'm using zero bytes because I actually deleted that system restore uh, it's basically the copies of the files which are helpful to restore your system if any error occurs so you can manage that so let's click on manage system restore you will get this dialog box open and here we have available drives so for the C drive our protection is on now you can configure that so let's click on configure and here you will define how much space you want to allocate to system restore I had set to about 10% like that and it was quite a lot so my C drive was increasing every day I used the PC so it was like 10% right now it's 22 I'm just gonna take it back to 10% and you can you see that it's a 92.40 GB and that's quite a lot and if you see a lot of system restore files here then you can simply click on delete here which will delete the restore but I would highly recommend to keep that to about one or two percent so you have some kind of restore so if any problem happens to your PC then you can restore it the Windows can automatically restore that now one more thing I'm going to show you here I'm just going to go to the file explorer and then you need to right click on C drive once you right click you go to properties and then we are going to click on disk cleanup let's click on that and it's going to analyze all the system errors memory dump files which is uh, really important you do that if you don't uh, defragment your drive uh, like monthly or probably once in a two, two months 
then you can do this disk cleanup. It takes a bit of time because it's going to go and read all the system error and memory dump files. All right, so once it analyzes your dump files, you will see this dialog box here. So here you can see how much space you're using because I actually clear uh, from here regularly but I know a lot of people have about 100 gigabytes here which are basically dump files of memory errors so now basically you select all of these options I'm gonna select offline pages as well and then you click on clear system files sorry it was clean up system files so once you click on that it's going to analyze things again let's see this first so here we have a system update cleanup 3.99 terabyte well that's not true actually so i can't really say anything about that because my i have the true terabyte of hard drive in the pc so these are the files we found now we need to go to the more options once you go to the more options here you find system restore and shadow copies let's click on clean up let's click on delete and then we go back and then we click ok and make sure you select the things here so let's click ok and then click on delete files it will delete all the unnecessary files but you make sure you don't do this uh, if you don't find uh, space to getting low every day because these are some of the files which are the shadow copies such as if you run into an error of your windows then now um, you try to restart your pc and you find out that your windows has been corrupted and unfortunately you don't have any shadow or restore point so that is why i've shown you before here that you need to make sure that you have allocated some kind of space here for the restore so here we go to configure again make sure you have about a, a bit of uh, memory here to give uh, to, to windows to restore uh, i have like one terabyte that's why i'm giving it to two percent but you make sure that it's around 20 gb to 30 gb let's just increase that to 3 gb that's going to go to 27 gb that's fine i think that's good enough for system restore now let's go back to that dialog box and now it's uh, deleting all the temporary files from C drive, deleting all the thumbnail of Windows Defender, system required and log files. And now because I actually cleaned up my C drive just before but uh, I'm just gonna click OK and then let's refresh I um, should be getting 1 GB free space. Now, that you can see that it was 488 GB free now it's 499 GB free so it might be helpful for a lot of people because Windows sucks I have a Mac that's my primary computer and uh, I only use Windows for development whenever I need some kind of Windows based development such as VB or .NET so yeah that's it for this video guys uh, subscribe to the channel if any question let me know in the comments or you can send me an email or tweet me at awaysmizzle01 for more tips and tricks. Alright, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Cheers.